Firewall Gyan. Today we are going to install R81.10 uh, Fritz install. Let's begin. I have already downloaded the OS, so oh, let me go to the download folder. Take R81.10 OS. This is a VM platform, and this will be the uh, open server installation let's select a proper versions for the operating system this is your sms let me select the location where i wanted to have this OS to be installed let's say it's in d drive okay okay let me create one folder here new folder which called as sms all right next give the memory space uh before uh, putting this all the tells like hard disk space ram and everything try to check the release notes uh, you can uh, google it the release notes so basically go for the r80 sorry r81.10 sorry r81.10 So, very first page, it will give you all entire documentations. And if you check here, there may be some link for the release notes. Okay, document package. lot of details there but I don't see release note okay here if you click to release note it will take you to the release note and it will give you what are the hardware compatibility requirements so follow this guide uh, check support environments check uh, lot of details whatever the details are available here just go through all this document okay open server requirement so this is what minimum hardware requirement so check that and perform your configuration accordingly so for management gateway asking you you need to have 8 gigabit of ram and for security gateway it's 4 gigabit of ram let's see uh let's give say 40 gigabit of hard disk and ram it's say 8 gigabyte but i'm giving it a little bit low say around 7644 give the processor requirements so i'll be giving two two but let's see what they are suggesting here total CPU is enough that is fine all right this is your configuration part so you can add whatever uh, different network interfaces you want for now I'm just adding two uh, one is your bridge mode and another one is night mode that is fine rest you can keep it as it is now let's close it let's say finish and now let's power on the SMS. See here they mentioned that within a 450 
seven fifty five seconds you need to perform this operation make a note of this thing here if you see the timer is kicking so if you do not uh, select this version here like install Gaia right system it will automatically go for this option do not install Gaia boot from the local drive option all right let's go for the installation so it will start initialization and it will do all the background checks whatever it is I mean if it whatever the suitable things for the OS to be installed so you need to be with me and it is important to see each and every part of this installation because in open server or in appliance or in a you know, production environment the steps will be the same so be with me still this uh, installation completes I also wanted to tell you guys I have too many videos on checkpoint firewall, Palo Alto firewall, checkpoint firewall command lines and everything. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and uh, watch my all the videos. Those are very informative and you will be getting you know expert level knowledge on that, on these technologies. Alright. Make this OK, select language. I am keeping default everything for now. Okay, let me give the admin password. Let me configure interface one, interface zero without any default gateway for now. So these settings it's depending on your uh, environment so whatever you have with your environment according to you need to configure IP addresses gateways and everything now it will install the package and it will take a couple of minutes so I'll be back once this installation is completed installation is got completed successfully let's uh, reboot the gateway it will take a minute or two to reboot the gateway I am hoping I am able to ping the IP address from my system let me go to this here you need to accept the certificate give your username and password next continue with already one dot and configuration next I'll be selecting the default settings for now give it a name SMS domain names firewall again dot com let's give Google DNS for now next default time setting next so i want this to be a simple security management server so uncheck the box for security gateway security management define security management server as primary you have to have this check mark here automatically download installed blade contracts new software and other important data 
this is important because uh, whenever you uh, whenever you try to up, upgrade your uh, manual server or a gateway if this option if this is not checked uh, you'll be having issue so this need to be checked for sure next use guy admin for now as a guy administrator that is fine for now any ip address is okay next now let me show you improve product experience send crash data which might contain the personal data to checkpoint and everything by clicking this box you are able to share your crash data to the checkpoint that is fine finish and now it will install whatever the products we have from the checkpoint r81.10 and i believe it should take a minute or two to complete this process so let's wait until this process get completed I am hoping I have our smart console for R81 to 10. So once this installation is completed, we'll directly log into this smart console. Before that, I will show you also from where you can download this smart console. It is available with the uh, installation itself. Okay, compatibility package is getting installed. Just wait for a minute. Did it successfully? Let let me show you where and and download the smart console. let's uh, complete this thing oh let's log in from here that's gtp Okay, give the username and the password. I think it's also logged in from here. Let me close. So if you see here, here, from here you can download your R81.10 smart console application right you have to just click the download link and everything will be downloaded I mean the smart console client will be downloaded all right let me log out from this So this is how uh, you can uh, do the basic installation of your R81.10 uh, Gaia. Uh, 